Miss Sutton, did you ever hear of Marion Forsythe, the American artist? Yes, sir. Look at that. She's blushing. I suppose she wouldn't want to read Forsythe's story. How about you? Yeah, I've heard of her. She's supposed to be pretty hot stuff. Like to read her biography? Like to read it? She'd memorize it. And you? I have heard of Miss Forsythe. I do not approve of, of her life. But I should consider it my duty to find out why she, well, why she varies from, from the normal. Are you vertical or horizontal, Bonnie? seen little Marion now for many years. Oh, she was pretty as a spotted pup that last spring in Knoxville. You must have been in on the beginning of her career. Oh, yeah, she had just started her painting. I wasn't thinking of painting. Oh, thank you, darling. Uh, Marion. Just a rush of feeling, dear. Oh, Dickie. You are very beautiful. Well, if that's any comfort to you, I'm very happy about it. I claim the privilege of a friendship that considerably antedates Mr. Kurtz to beg of you not to degrade your talents to the level of his vulgar, sensation-mongering rag. His chivalry is so exquisite that he's terrified at the thought of being mentioned as one of your old beaux. Oh, hush, Dickie, you hush. Tell me, to... darling, I admit that Dickie's magazine is not the Atlantic Monthly. On the other hand, I don't see why you should assume that my story would be vulgar and sensational. <laughs> 